Good evening everyone. I'm Peter Fiore, Coots Executive Chef. Um, thought it would be a great idea to teach you a few dishes, what we're eating basically in the, in the Fiore household. So tonight I'm going to show you how to make a tart to tan, which is one of my favourite desserts of all time. I love it, my mum loved it, I used to love, always like cooking it for the family, so I thought I'd show you how to make it. So in this pan, I have just caster sugar, 190 grams of caster sugar. Really important to have a pan that's gonna go into the oven. This is a 24 centimeter pan. You need to be able to build the apples within the pan for this upside down apple tart, essentially. So I'm just cooking this caramel, and a good way to work out if the caramel is the right color is to just have a little white piece of paper. And if you go in, you can see that's a nice caramel color. I'm gonna give it a tiny bit more color, you see? On the white background, you get the real understanding of the color. This is a good idea for whenever you make any caramel. So I'm really close. Once I've got this to the color I want, I'm going to add 125 grams of unsalted butter, okay? So, I'm pretty happy with this color now. It's just starting to get very hot. Obviously, whenever working with caramel, you've got to be very careful. But I'm going in with the butter. So that's 125 grams of butter. We're just gonna stir that in. Be careful that you don't burn yourself. Amazing smell of caramel coming through. Now, the apples I'm using today are Braeburn apples. I usually quite like to use um, Granny, Granny Smith's, but look, we're not going out shopping at the moment. We're trying to stay in as much as we can. And those were the apples I could get. So I've got Braeburns, which I've cut in half. Right, that's the caramel. It's come together nicely now. Okay, there we go. Put it onto the tray. I'll show you how to do the apple. So you just peel the apple down and then we're gonna cut it in half. straight down the middle. And I'm gonna remove the core. Now I've got one of these fancy Parisian cutters that you can just use a spoon, it's not a problem. There we go, core removed. You can do a tart to tan with lots of other fruits as well. You can do it with pears, you can do it with apples, rhubarb, you can even do a savory one with tomato. Right, I'm gonna start building in the pan now. So the apples go in. Again, be careful, this is very hot oil. Very hot sugar, sorry. I'm gonna try and pack these in nice and tight. Then this is gonna go back into the oven. You can hear it sizzling away. It's quite a lot of apples. This is gonna serve, you know, about eight people or six greedy people. There we go, look, just building it up. In they go. So as you can see, really important that the pan is oven proof. You can, you know, you can use other pans if you, whatever you can find really, but there we go. And I think one for the middle. All right, and then I can get one more on the outside. So that's 12, 12 apples. It's a lot of fruit. This is now gonna go into the oven for 25 minutes, okay? And then we'll come back once we put it in for 25 minutes. The oven is at 190 centigrade, and in it goes, 20, 25, 20, 25 minutes, I'll have a look after 20 minutes. So we've got the uh, apples that have been in the oven now for 25 minutes, cooking in their butter caramel. Let's get them out. Be careful, obviously the pans are red hot. Now, next step is to put pastry on top. So we're using um, puff pastry. I use full butter puff pastry, if you can get it. That's the best thing to use. So I rolled the pastry out into a circle, just about to a centimeter bigger than the, the pan. 
we just lay it over the top. I've also put a few little holes in it, just with a fork. And now we're just gonna tap it all the way around the side. You don't have to be, it's not that important how you do this. We try and get it down the sides so that it surrounds the apples. Yeah, so I've used, as I said, this is, I mean, there's only three or four ingredients in this tart, isn't there? There's the tart, there's the apples, the butter, and the puff pastry with the sugar. Right, look, so that's over the top now. Now we're gonna pop this straight back into the oven. And this is now gonna go into the oven for another 25 minutes. In she goes. The tart tatin has been in the oven for 25 minutes now, so we need to remove it. At 190, all the apples will be nice and soft, and the caramel should be golden. There you go. Now, we need to wait five minutes before we turn it out. We're gonna turn it out onto this plate. We need to wait five minutes, otherwise the caramel will be too soft and too runny. Okay, so we'll come back in five minutes. So the tart's been out for five minutes resting now. Now we're going to turn it out. Use a nice flat plate. We're going to have to tip this over. Be very careful, this is very hot. Last thing we want is for you to burn yourselves. So plate on top, pan on top, and over. And voila. We have beautiful tart to tan. Now, have this with some double cream, whipped cream with a bit of vanilla or just some whipped cream, or some beautiful ice cream. Just slice it, you'll get comfortably eight portions. Please try this. Let it cool down before you eat it. Please try it, enjoy. I'm gonna sign off now. Keep safe and try and use your pantry goods.